Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight, first things first. The Prince and Princess of Wales released their 2023 Christmas card picture. And I'm not gonna lie, the first thing that I thought when I saw it, uh, well, it's gray. But it's not like I have anything against the color gray. Many great things come in gray, such as Sam Elliott's hair in Rod House. Epic, uh, 50% Grey, one of my favorite short animated films of all time, and uh, that movie with Dakota Johnson. Uh, you know which one, don't act like you don't know. But it's a bit strange to release a Christmas card with grey tones. We are used to thinking about Christmas and family in a celebration of joy, happiness, bliss. So it's usual to think of Christmas and family in many colors. In fact, a quick Google search of William and Catherine's Christmas pictures return none in black and white. So this is a new style, perhaps. And, of course, William and Catherine have their fair share of black and white pictures taken by the genius Chris, Chris Jackson for the Airshot Prize, and not because they're black and white they lacked warmth. On the contrary, they were as warm as it gets. They also had a lot of contrast. Whites were really white and blacks were really black. Keep that in mind when we go back to see the Christmas picture again. Because one interesting quality of the picture is that it also has ultra high contrast. We can't really tell if all of them were wearing white shirts. In fact, I, I would say that William was wearing a very pale blue, but we can take it as white either way. Catherine and Charlotte are wearing jeans. Uh, Louis is wearing shorts, and William and George are wearing dark trousers. But the image they project is the same contrast that we were talking about. Very strong whites, very strong blacks. You use high contrast in photography to be more dramatic, to make the image more powerful. Maybe they wanted to portray themselves as a powerful family. It would not be surprising given all the constant attacks from all sides, including overseas. Now, just in case I did an experiment lowering the contrast of the picture, making those whites and blacks not be so opposed to each other. And you can see the result on the right. Yeah, it looks bland. Not only gray, but bland. So, yeah, so still the high contrast picture looks much better. The other elephant in the room, elephants are gray, right? But no, just joking. The other elephant in the room is the fact that, yes, they are in a room, in a studio. And besides that a Christmas card from 2017, well, they have always been out there in the open, in nature. And it goes very well with William's Earthshot initiative. Again, it's not that hard to see that in most, if not all, of their Christmas pictures, just from a random Google search. The common denominator has been nature, or at least outdoors. So, choosing a studio picture, that's well, that's well changing many things at the same time. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all up for reinvention and experimenting, so these changes are welcome. Because there are some details that went very well in this photograph. Like in the composition department, we already saw that contrast between white and black was used to depict a powerful family. Even if they are wearing white or very pale shirts, which convey innocence and purity, but at the same time, the pattern of their shirts create an effect of unity, like a sphere. Like if they are in this tight circle that no external force can break. And that white sphere is resting on a high contrast foundation, which gives them a lot of stability. But that stability is not static, because they are standing and, in Charlotte's case, sitting in a way that gives the composition movement. Because the first faces you're going to see in that first glimpse are William and Catherine, then George, who's right next to her. Then you're going to continue clockwise to Charlotte and finally finish on Louis, only to repeat the cycle again. It's a, it's a nice touch that also follows the kids chronologically. Let, let's talk about facial expressions. Well, we are so used to William and Catherine's smiles that there is not much to add in this regard. I, I personally find much more interesting when they are out and about in their royal engagements uh, and they are interacting with people and kids and sometimes even 
animals, and it's refreshing to see their smiles at those moments. Catherine has her head straight and head on to the camera, which is a very strong pose, and William is leaning just a bit towards her. Very empathic. I think it's a nice way to balance their polarities. I'm going to skip George for a minute and talk about Louis and Charlotte. The snap judgment that I've got from these two is that they go along quite well, even when uh, Louis uh, goes full Louis. I, I want to mention a couple pictures that I saw in the past 24 hours, such as this one shared by the Royal Wales on X. Little Catherine and little Louis. Louis is literally a photocopy of his mother when she was a child. And I couldn't agree more. So many features that we can pinpoint in this cute side by side. But in my opinion, nothing beats the picture shared by the British Prince of Onex. Prince Louis is the double of his grandfather, Grandpa Middleton, in the family Christmas picture. The Middleton genes are strong in Louis. And well, you can see it for yourself. I arrest my case. Just one more thing about Louis and Charlotte. I wouldn't be surprised that in the future they become a great support for one another. I know that they will still have the whole family to support them. But you know when you have a sibling that you can count on no matter what. Of course, George is also going to be there. But his circumstances as the heir are naturally more complex. I see, I see him here besides Catherine, and even if she is holding him close to her, like protecting him, I can't help but have the feeling that it's more like George protecting his mother. Uh, what do you think? And I'm sure you notice this. George is the only one who is not smiling. I don't see that much of a problem. In fact, I think that goes hand in hand with his personality. You know that uh, here in the Royal Row, we don't talk that much about the kids. Unless in cases like these that are completely public, so there's no problem. But still, we have a record of how the kids have grown since they were born. And what I see in George's facial expression is a lot of maturity. And it's not exactly a lack of a smile, because there is a subtle smile in there. You can see it in his eyes. But also, there's that knowledge of the responsibility he has. I would go as far as to say that, despite William and Catherine, they have made sure to give him a healthy and balanced life. He himself feels the drive to protect his family. All in all, not your usual Christmas card picture. Some of you have loved it. Some of you, as myself, maybe needed a bit to appreciate the subtle clues of a powerful, solid family that's ready to battle whatever is in the horizon and with the certainty that they will stay together no matter what. I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My Royal Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet on another video or another...